All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. Well, this one is uh, just a report. It's not a lesson, so to say. It's just a report. If brothers haven't seen this, uh, this is an article that came out. Well, it's a lot of, uh, I have a few articles that came out yesterday, June 16th, all right, 2021. Today is the 17th of June, 2021. And um, this here is from uh, NewYorkPost.com. And the headlines is, UFOs could threaten U.S. security, polls say, after Capitol Hill briefing. So now, all right, before there was... You know, the narrative of getting information about the UFOs, the UAPs. And now they're saying that UFOs could threaten U.S. security. All right. So is they uh, painting a narrative? We'll see. You know, if they paint the narrative to what's highly anticipated, you know, as far as an agenda being pushed, which this uh, Esau will uh, likely to stage some sort of alien invasion you know marvel not you know don't be shocked if you know breaking news ufo just you know struck the white house or something like that who knows you know but um it's uh pretty pretty uh interesting when you read the first sentence here it says just in time for independence day and we all know about the movie independence day all right, with Will Smith, you know, when they invaded, the aliens invaded. <clears throat> and uh, Will Smith and his crew, they had to save America, you know, freeing themselves from the alien invasion, you know. So, you know, heads up. It says Capitol Hill lawmakers said Wednesday that UFOs could pose a pressing threat to Americans' national security. As the polls emerge from a highly classified briefing with Navy and FBI officials on an unexplained phenomenon. It says, ahead of the release of the highly anticipated Pentagon report on unidentified flying objects before months end, members of the House Intelligence Committee received a hush-hush sneak preview inside this SCIF sensitive uh, compartmented informational facility it says as the existence of the extraterrestrial life the lawmakers largely left the secrets inside the civilians proof room declining to tell reporters what they learned all right so I'll lead an article you know brothers want to continue to read so basically from the intel that they got I guess they came up with the conclusion that the UFOs, all right, the UAPs, are a national security threat, all right, and we of the whole four elect, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we understand what they are, and they're the angels of the Lord, all right, the angels that ride in these vehicles, all right, and we've been told you that they was a threat, you know, so, you know, they're cooking up this, uh, this narrative now that the UFOs are a threat to U.S. security, you know. So don't be alarmed before the 4th of July next month, you know, something may uh, emerge. But um, let me, uh, you know, it's going to be a quick, uh, quick, quick, quick report, quick lesson report, whatever. Uh, here's another article that came up. All these damn ads. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, let's see. Okay. Uh, UFOs could pose a threat to U.S. national security, lawmakers claim, after they emerged from the highly classified meeting today about the upcoming Pentagon report. You know, they showing, keep showing the same footage of a chariot coming from the waters or in the clouds uh hold on and this is from the u.s sun just another report 
Space Invaders. It says UFOs may be threatened to the U.S. security lawmakers warn after briefing on military sightings. All right, I'll leave. I'll leave all these links, bros. You want to go into them? Let me go to another one. This is uh, CNN. Government UFO report is the product of years of military and fighting over whether it takes sighting seriously. Okay. This was June 16 as well. CNN. Okay, so let me see. Let me, so like, let me see when this came out. I believe yesterday too. Just making sure. Or well, say June 17th, that's today. Okay, so now, oh, this is a YouTube video. But before I go there, just another report, you know, because they paint the narrative. Now the UFOs are a national threat to the U.S. security. It says, FAA notified after large blue UFO seen above Oahu appeared to drop into ocean. All right, and um, let's see if I can play the video here. Yeah. Something is in the sky. What is that? And it's not just fireworks lighting up the sky in West Oahu. Perplexed residents on the Leeward Coast are searching for answers after a lit up, unidentified flying object reportedly plunged into the ocean near Ulehava Beach Park. Though there are multiple videos of what appears to be a glowing oblong mass, both in the sky and in the water, Honolulu police notified aviation officials about the bizarre sighting. But as our Allison Blair reports, it remains a mystery. Officials from the federal aviation... Yeah, and looking at it, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of these uh, 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 sightings, some are real, some are fake. You know, you got to take that in with consideration. You know, Esau could be using Project Blue Bean hologramic images in the heavens, you know, because he has the power to do that. But also, too, the sight, some of these sightings are real because Yahweh Bashim Yahushai does have his angels, all right, riding in the heavens. Aviation Administration say there were no aircraft incidents or accidents in this area Tuesday night, but multiple witnesses report seeing a large blue object fall out of the sky and into the ocean. Something is in the sky. What is that? This video was taken by Misitina Sape at 826 Tuesday night near Haleakala Avenue in Nanakuli. Not long after, a woman named Mariah spotted the same thing passing over Princess Kahanu Estates. I don't know what it looked like. And then I was like, oh, shit. I started calling my husband then because it was all in the garage. I was like, hey, come look up there. Let's see what I see. They all said, yeah. The 38 year old says she's never really been a believer in UFOs, but the bright blue object had them so intrigued they jumped in the car and started following it. I don't know what it was. This one was going so fast. The journey ended less than three miles from where it began on Farrington Highway in front of the Board of Water Supply building after the object appeared to drop into the ocean. On a f***ing line in the water, whatever it is. She described it as being larger than a telephone pole and says she never heard it make any sound. Yeah, a lot of things could be CGI as well. You know, so just taking into consideration, you know, but we do know. All right, that the Lord angels ride in the heavens in those chariots and those vehicles. I see this as Esau discrediting, you know, the most high, you know, because if he uh, played this agenda, you know, of what they are. And he puts he puts his um, he puts his twist on it. You know, it will be discredited of the Lord, but they're not going to be discredited because Yahweh Bashim Shai. Is going to destroy this place you call America, which is known as Babylon the Great, also by the ways of his chariots, by his angels. All right. So everything is going to come to the light. All right. Of the truth. Lies is, is uh, declining and truth is uprising. All right. Oh, if I have like one cop or somebody for come out and um, come. All right, that's enough of that. Enough of that. Let me. Uh,
go to this YouTube video. Aloha, everybody. Thank you for spending some time with us tonight. Did you happen to see the strange bright lights last night? You may have been one of many who thought it looked like a plane, meteor shower, or something unexplainable. Sir Madison reached out to experts to find out what it could have been and joins us with our top story. People on different islands reported seeing these strange lights in the sky on Saturday night shortly after 10 o'clock. Now we're told since it was traveling east, people on the Big Island and Maui probably got a better view. What is that, guys? What is that? And I started videotaping, and when they got closer, that's when I started freaking out because I'm like, oh, what in the world is this? We, we actually didn't even know what to think. We didn't know what it was, where it came from. It just appeared. It was very quiet. Um, it was actually very eerie, uh, eerie feeling. That was probably what many thought when they saw these mysterious bright lights in the night sky. But experts from the Mauna Kea observatories offer a simple explanation of what they suspect. So in, in all likelihood, what we what they saw last night was the re-entry of a rocket booster that was from a rocket that was launched in 2008. It's a Chinese rocket that was boosting up a communication satellite for Venezuela. It's likely as the years went by, the orbit of the booster eventually decayed. Astronomers found a map of the object's flight path, which was near the Hawaiian Islands. So we can't be 100% certain because we don't... Yeah, and that's Esau for you. You know, can't believe a word that come out of his mouth. But uh, let me uh, grab the scripture here. This is Psalms 104 and 3. It says, it says, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? All right. And these are the chariots of Yahweh. Okay. It says, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh the angels spirits his ministers a flaming fire? Ooh. All right. It says, who laid the foundation of the earth that it should not be removed forever? Thou covers it with the deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains. At thou rebuke, they fled. At the voice of thou thunder, they hasteth away. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys unto the place which thou hast found it for, hast found it for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. All right, because Yahweh Bashimi I was shy. All right, is in charge. Of everything that exists okay and these are the angels that ride in the heavens in which Esau is calling UFOs all right so like I said before you know you have to take in some consideration of the lies and the truth the true to meat spit out the bones we know the trip the scriptures are true but we also know Esau being the devil that he is that the Bible speaks of all right he's gonna put a lie and a twist on him you know you might be seeing CGI you might be seeing Project Blue Beam, you know, and now the talks now of of the UFOs is uh, that they are a national security threat. So we're going to see in time of what Esau is going to say, what they're about and how he's going to narrate it, you know, through his media for the people to, to uh, have understanding of it. But the understanding we already have. All right. Now, let me just grab another scripture. This is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. It says, For behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. which houses the Oval and Executive Offices of the President, 
and we're about to enter the residence, which is the big famous building in the middle that got blown up in Independence Day. So the Lord is going to use these chariots to be a national, to be a threat to U.S. security. All right. They are a threat. Zechariah says they're the curse that go across the face of the whole earth. All right. And they're, they're the enemy. They're Esau's enemy because they're going to destroy what you built. The Lord said, ye shall build, but I will throw down. All right. So they are. All right. A, a threat. Okay. Now, let me go into the book, Revelations 1 and verse 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and the clouds represents those chariots, those angels in which you see, all right, riding in those vehicles. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. All right, so the Lord... Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he's coming back in a, in a gigantic chariot. It says, every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So, which really goes back to reincarnation for those men who pierced Yahweh Shai when he was on the cross, when he was being crucified. It says, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. All right, because the, the sight of the Lord entering into our dimension to take uh, NATO, the European Union, out of power, you Esau Edomites, starting with these elites, you're going to well, all right? You're going to howl for vexation of spirit, okay? Uh, and I get one more. This is Acts chapter 1, verse 4. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which say he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not being not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when they had spoken these things, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. So you see, there was a cloud, which was a chariot that took the Lord up in the midst of these men. It says, verse 10, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So these two angels stood, stood in white apparel and said to the men that were gazing, you know, up into the heavens because they was amazed. All right. That a chariot took Yahweh Shai right before them. And it says, which is taken from you into heaven. Meaning he went out of this world, all right, went into another dimension, to the fourth dimension with the Heavenly Father, to sit next to the Most High, all right, Yahweh on his right-hand side, 
so and uh, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven, because the Lord is coming back in the same fashion. All right, and that's why we read Revelations one and seven. You know, and that's the point. You know, there's plenty of uh, uh, chariot scriptures. You know, to get to prove that they exist and that they ride in our heavens, and we see them. You know, now every day basis, because the Lord is revealing them. Because this is the end of Esau's kingdom. So the point is of this report, all right, is that Esau is now reporting in multiple different articles of some briefing they had at the Pentagon, you know, being reported on at the Pentagon. They're coming out and saying that the chariots are now a U.S. a threat to U.S. security, you know, so now they're the enemy. Before it was we don't know what they are, you know, how cool they look. Look what they could do. But now they're the enemy. And the Bible speaks on how they are your enemy. All right. Zechariah, the fifth chapter, which I read and I end it there. You know, we, we always go over these same scriptures. All right. Because the word is repetitive. All right. It's a song. And the song is being sung. Uh, second address. Excuse me. Zechariah, the fifth chapter. And I'm going to read it fast. It says, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breatheth thereof is 10 cubits. So what Zechariah saw was a chariot and he described it. He described the size of it. It says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So what we so what was told of the chariot in which he saw was that this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, saith Yahweh of hosts, all right, which is the Lord of armies, and it shall enter. Into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. All right. So these chariots, these angels that ride in those vehicles, are a curse unto every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it and everyone that swear swears shall be cut off as on that side according to it and it's, and the lord said and it shall enter into the house of the thief all right yahweh shai also spoke about the thief in john 10 and 10. he said the thief cometh not but to steal kill and destroy he said but i have come to give life more abundantly so these so these um what you call ufos are not our enemy all right, us Israelites, starting with the elect, okay, they, they're our deliverance, okay? They're not a threat to us, but they're a threat to Esau and his, uh, what was it, uh, U.S. Uh, security. He was. It's a, it's a threat to U.S. security, but not unto us Israelites, all right? So Esau, you're in trouble. And it says, he shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name okay so you eat my son in trouble all right so you know that's basically the lesson you know the Lord has put it put um, in the mouth of these Edomites and their reporters their minions their media to speak on the angels of the Lord and it doesn't matter which way they twist it turn it and try to pinpoint it and, and call it for what they see it to make people believe what they want to believe. The Lord is going to destroy you Edomites in this society and this kingdom you have. And you're going to go into captivity. All right. You reap what you sow. Um, matter of fact, Salakia, let me give one scripture in the book of Revelations. Uh, what was it? Is it 9 and 13? No, I believe it's 13 and 9. Let me see here. Yep. This is Revelation 13 and 9. And this is a scripture toward you elites. All right. You uh, Edomites. 
it says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Meaning, if any man have understanding, let him understand. It says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's the patience and the faith of the, faith of the Israelites. Starting with the elect. That's what we're waiting upon. For the Lord to crack those clouds, man. Okay? We're waiting upon prophecy to be fulfilled. The Lord to crack those clouds and it's all over. The end of Esau's society. All right? It says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So, you know, that's the, that's the point. All right? I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechach Hodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.